You're watching Homeworthy, where we believe every home has a story. Like and subscribe for more. Hi, Homeworthy. It's Mally Skog. Sorry, I had to kick the door. It's got all jammed with the humidity. This is my Palm Beach house, and I'd love you to come in and take a look around. Scott. We are in Palm Beach, Florida, the wonderful bubble that every 60-something couple has ended up in recently. I don't like it. I adore it. It's just the strangest thing. Um, I lived in Boston for many years and moved down here pre-COVID and I just fell in love with this place. I don't know whether it's the warm sunshine or the greenery or the friendly people, the bike path, the beach walks. I mean, it's an ideal life for me. Oh, and the restaurants, love the restaurants. I'm an interior designer. I have a small amount of good clients that I work with in the Cape and Boston um, is, and a few projects down here but my career has really veered off into being um, a fabric and wallpaper designer and actually just being a designer I love inventing um, new things and um, as my um, own fabric and wallpaper um, designs progressed people started noticing me and I've also uh, designed other things. I did a little um, furniture line for these, this, these young friends of mine, Dal, which was so incredible and so difficult. Designing furniture is so difficult. Um, and ended up going to the Philippines and going to their factory. What I absolutely love is all the new adventures that come my way. Well, what happened was my poor hubby was just so bored of me complaining and being so gloomy about cold Boston winters um, that we came down and had a look for just a small house for holidays and weekends and it was going to be my treat. It actually, this house is my treat. Um, and I had made this list of everything that I thought would be just perfect, easy living, casual. Um, I wanted to put all my South African things in it. I wanted to be able to have overnight guests, but keep everything very informal. And we walked into this house first. And unfortunately, I'm a Capricorn and my hubby is a Libran. So we walked in and it was just, you know, staged pretty horribly. But it was everything that I wanted. And I was like, this is the one, I'll take it. Um, and my hubby made me drag through 16 other houses, big ones, small ones, bits of land. And I knew we'd end up here. <laughs> um, and basically, there was nothing that I would really, um, that I really hated. I mean, I don't love all the tiles in the bathrooms, but, you know, as an interior designer, I think you realize there are bigger fish to fry. I mean, people get so stuck on small things. So um, I painted, because I just love Pharaoh and Ball paint, and so, um, I just painted the whole house in nice non-builders paint, changed the light fittings, and that was it. I mean, just moved in and put my footprint on it. This is the little entrance hall to my lovely bungalow house. Um, the reason I bought the house and decided on the house, I just love the clean white tiles. I knew that I wanted a bench in here and I found this cheap and cheerful one and put this amazing fabric on it which has since been discontinued and of course everyone asks me where it comes from. 
I love Vaughan. They are my favorite lights. And um, this little hall table I saw in London at Chelsea Harbour and had to have it. These are from a, I, whenever I do a launch or do a show house, I always keep the things that I buy because they're just little memories. This was from a little launch that I did for furniture. I love Yaya Kusama and um, always have, so I had to have some of her things. All the African baskets in this house have been bought in the tourist stores, which I spend my life in. Um, behind you are these incredible ceramic plates that I found this ceramicist that um, has this little shelf in this tourist store. He is so untrained, but I mean, they're, they're just absolutely brilliant. And they're like, you know, $25 each, but I love them. This is Cherish, my friend Anna Brockway. That's my Christmas present from Anna Brockway because who doesn't love green bars? And um, so this is my vibe that I was trying to put together. A little bit of vintage, a little bit of um, modern, and a little bit of Africa, which is what I am. Going through to the living room area. Um, I like this setup because it's good for parties because people can circulate and you can just um, put nibbles out on the table. I like to do really casual entertaining. Up here is my ode to Palm Beach and um, I'd love to squeeze some more parrots in but um, my husband's like enough with the parrots already. Um, I didn't want a I didn't want paintings on either side of the fireplace. So I found these incredible old Hollywood whatever they are. They look like water lily things. The vintage chairs, well antique chairs are from Cherish. My friend Anna again. I love supporting my girlfriends and their enterprises. And these amazing embroidered things are actually beer can tops that I bought in um, Cape Town and just I they were the first thing I bought for this house and you know it's interesting um, I just heard Ken Falk speak and he said he sees a movie in his brain of how things are going to be and it's very irritating for the people around you because I knew exactly what this house was going to look like and I knew that when you walked in the door those were going to be there on that wall. Um, it's just, it's my only superpower I have, basically. I love um, this Brunchwick. I love old um, textile styles. These are actually pillows that I designed. This is um, my uh, interpretation of an ECAT. Um, Thrown over the back of the sofa is a new Kenty cloth that I just picked up in South Africa. Now this, I know not everyone would do with red and orange and yellow, but it looks perfect to my eye. Sorry. Um, that one I had from a show house. This one I had made. Um, this is um, from Lee Jofa. That fabric I designed for Stout. And, um, you know, I just, I don't know why, but I like every, that one layer of color and pattern to um, just pull the whole room inside of itself with this quiet surround. It's my favorite kind of decorating. I must apologize, I haven't cleaned up this end of my table, even though I knew you guys were coming because I'm mid-process of recoloring um, a new collection for Stout. And also, I designed some um, things in South Africa. This is from a little pashmina that I bought at a pop-up. But this is what I'm so excited about. This um, candy cloth that I uh, painted in South Africa is going to be one of my new wovens. Um, I just need this mess around me just here so that I can sit down and choose an 
hour and just get into it again. I can't put my stuff away. Um, obsessed with shells, yes. Some I've picked up, some my friends give me that they've picked up. But um, it's just so hard when you walk past a beautiful shell on the beach. I can't not pick it up. These are wine coasters, housewarming presents, antiques from a friend. This um, I inherited from my mum, this little fat lady. Um, this um, is, what's her name again? Do you remember? She's very famous Connecticut potter. Um, plants, and these were my, um, these hydrangeas were in my Valentine's uh, flowers and I can't throw them away. So, I mean, I maybe they a little bit sort of meh, but I love them. So over in this crazy corner, um, I have been collecting um, antique uh, textiles for a long time. In London, they have this amazing um, antiques fair in Battersea. And this one deal, I just absolutely love the colors in this ECAT. And so turned it into um, a picture. And um, these little palm trees are made in Cape Town by some African beaders. A friend of mine started this collaborative for them. Um, I think it's called Boys on the Side of the Road. Anyway, I just think they're so sweet. And then, you know, supporting Amanda Lindroth, supporting Dunes and Duchess. Actually, this is a friend um, gave that to me, that, um, Stacey Kunstel, who makes these beautiful um, candlesticks. So everything in my house, even though it looks so cluttered, is very meaningful. <laughs> it's all meaningful to me. Going through to the kitchen, um, it's a, an obvious new build, plain white kitchen. Not that spectacular, but I mean, I probably would have put a white kitchen in anyway. And the countertops are quite nice. I absolutely hated the backsplash. But it's amazing how you just get used to things. And also, I couldn't be bothered with all that mess. So, um, you know, I've made, I've made peace with it. And um, it's very functional. And um, we eat a lot at this counter. And then round this way is, um, it's easy to get outside. Um, for having breakfast on that little round table. These sofas were the only thing that I kept um, from the staging, the real estate staging. They were just exactly the right size. They're actually just junk. But you know what? It's fine. Um, I recovered them and just filled them with pillows that I love. This is my fabric, actually one of my most popular fabrics, Flora. And then I love buying these um, African fabrics. You can buy them in Chelsea Market. Um, what's it called? Chelsea Flea. My daughter and I go shopping there and there's this East African guy. And I'm always, look at me, I'm always buying textiles from him. And he's just so sweet and they make great pillows. So I just wanted to keep this side of the house easy breezy. I love these from Make Goods. And then always with my little vintage pieces. I don't know if you have ever been to the Elephant's Foot, but it is this antique um, shop, old fashioned antique shop on South Dixie where they have a whole bunch of brown furniture. I just love it, and I found that foot bath in there. I love the ceilings. I like the fact that it is a blank canvas. It doesn't really say anything if you take all of my stuff out of it. It's just got this very easy, breezy, casual atmosphere. What do you think? And it's bright and it's not stodgy at all. I mean, because Palm Beach can be very formal and I think people see the 
clipped hedges and everything, and they think that life in Palm Beach is pretty formal and the entertaining is formal, but I just love that this house hasn't got that atmosphere, that you can just... I, when I have parties, people are just all over the place and, you know, just put the, all the wine out on the patio outside. I like that just relaxed um, living. Let's just have a little look outside here. One of the reasons I just love this house was this deep closure. And um, you can fit a lot of furniture in it. We have breakfast out here and... Um, Really, um, when it's hot and stuffy, we just put on the fans. And I, not all of these are indoor-outdoor pillows. Um, these are Fanny Shorter. I absolutely love her fabrics. And they're faded. And I don't mind that they're faded. Um, but anyway, this is just a good place to sit in the morning, read the paper, and I'm sorry, it's a bit of a gloomy day today, but normally the pool is just a little sparkling pool in the middle of our garden. Now I'm going to show you the grown-up part of the house down here where we live. But um, just a quick stop at, I always say that this is exactly what the inside of my brain looks like. Um, all my little collections that I picked up in the antique stores and in South Africa over the years. Um, I was just in Paris last week at the Deco Art Show and I bought this ink, I'm obsessed with jugs, for putting um, flowers in and I bought that in the Marché au Pousse on uh, La... It was the coldest I've ever been in my entire life. I also picked up this little um, Cafe au lait, which are, you can't find them very easily. You know that the French used to have their coffee like that in the mornings, in the old days. I don't know if they still do it. Africa, um, more jugs. I, I went through a stage of loving art glass. I'm sort of over it now. And, um, oh, I picked up, this is going to the framers. Isn't that the most beautiful little oil painting that I bought in this dusty little shop in Paris? Um, so that's um, how I operate. If I see it and I love it, I go away and then I go all the way around and then end up buying it. So come down here. South Africa, a um, sweet artist that I like, and then, oh, his and her bathrooms, the secret to a happy marriage. Plus, look at the one I get. It's ginormous. And um, literally, the only thing I had to do was change the light fittings. I did those um, little Aaron ones in here. I think they look quite jolly. And um, unfortunately, you can see absolutely everything in that light. So this is our bedroom, which is very peaceful and calm. And um, actually, my husband was my client in here, and I know that he doesn't like a very busy bedroom. So, um, and these are his favorite colors, blue and yellow. So uh, that was my little um, compromise for him, to have this nice, quiet, but I could still, add some fun little touches. Um, I love this bench made by my friend Stacy, Dunes and Duchess bench. Vaughan lamps, copied by everyone, but the Vaughan one is absolutely the nicest. And then behind you, um, Alex Mason, who is a friend of mine and a fabric designer. I bought those at one of her pop-up um, little things at um, in LA and she actually prints my wallpaper so I have all these lovely women enterprise network connections that I just love that about our community in our industry these are from South Africa 
you used to be able to pick up these sea urchins when I was young. Um, they were just scattered all over the beach. I bought those in a shop in South Africa and they're very brittle. I don't know how long they're going to last, but they just remind me of my childhood. I didn't actually pick up every single one of those. I have to admit. I think one of the most um, influential things for me was being born in South Africa and losing my dad when I was very young. My mum was very young. So I was in a very matriarchal household where um, we had to make do a lot. My mum was 32 years old when my dad died. So we were all team us. And so that has made me um, very fearless in life because when you've had that happen to you, I mean, somebody's sofa coming in in the wrong color is not a drama. Um, so being in South Africa, having this um, pull together thing, um, that's the most valuable asset for me because nothing really derails me. Um, and people think it's my energy or whatever, but it's just the gift of um, living in a family like that. In the sunshine, my, you know, I can make curtains, I can cook, I can, I have been given this gift by the start in my life, to tell you the truth. Now we're going into this little bedroom that I turned into my office. Because it's my space, I have felt that I could go absolutely crazy with my fabric and wallpaper. I don't think a normal person would put my blue Brimfield um, wallpaper with these curtains. This pattern is called Emmy and I designed it and named it after my mum. And um, when I showed her the strike off, she said, oh, well, actually, that's the nicest fabric that you've designed. So, you know, she put that out there straight away. Anyway, this is where I work. And um, I do my email, but also it's my escape hatch. And I love to have a day bed in my office. So I can close this door and um, grab my little mohair rug, plug in my a book, and um, no one is allowed to come beyond that door. I like to have a nice little nap in the afternoon, especially if I've had a busy week. And also, when the house is full, it's an extra bed um, for overflow guests. The dog absolutely loves her little doggy bed. When I designed my first collection for stout fabrics, they wanted me to buy some vintage pieces to cover. Um, and I was on South Dixie and I saw this dog bed, went straight in my car. And I don't know how she knows, but um, she knows that it's hers. And when I come in here, she is there having a little rest as well, her day bed. I used to think needlepoint was cheesy, but it's so interesting how um, everything old is new again. And I'm very influenced by my daughters, especially my New York daughter, who is just the ultimate grand millennial. And she started, um, loving needlepoint and actually I had done some needlepoint when I was pregnant with my kids and I was going to chuck these pillows out and she grabbed them they're in her apartment in New York so um uh, my friend who has a little online store let me choose and that was my first favorite thing and no one likes the shady beach. It was very appropriate for Palm Beach. Um, Priscilla, 
Um, no, Pamela Hofmeister is a Instagram friend that has turned out to be such an amazing painter. She's so famous now. We made friends on Instagram years and years ago and I love her interiors. I have a few of them in my house. More African fabrics from the guy at Chelsea Flea. And what else? I bought that painting in South Africa when I was coming back the other day and I'm just haven't got round to going to the framers. So this is my daughter's room, um, the pink guest room. And um, I just absolutely love the headboard and this incredible um, fabric. I give this to my daughter because um, they, they're the naughty ones that um, smoke, the ones from London. So this is the smoking room. You can go out the side there. And um, I just, the Peter Dunham headboard is just very, very jolly and fun. Some of my fabrics are scattered around, but I don't do too much of that. I love everyone's fabric, so um, it's fine. I just layer it all in. This little painting I bought in Wellfleet. And um, when I'm in Cape Cod, my favorite thing to do is get in my car with my daughter and we just drive all over the place. And Wellfleet has got the most amazing little art galleries all along the main street. And you know what it's like when you're just walking along the road and you look through the window and you see a painting and actually the guy was there um, painting another painting, so we chatted. That late afternoon light that just made that house glow, it just, it touched me. So um, most of the things in my house have meaning. I don't like just buying things because they're the right color or the right size for a space. I think it's very important that you um, make these make it make it meaningful and right and I think people can sense it when they're in your space home means that um, actually home can be anywhere it's 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 very interesting um, when I go to South Africa and um, I go into my house in Plettenberg Bay which I have not had not been in for three years and I was very hesitant to go back to tell you the honest truth because my mum had died and I just didn't know if I needed that in my life because I'm so happy in Palm Beach and I just didn't know whether I should open that channel again and reconfuse myself but anyway my hubby said just keep an open mind and let's just go out for the holidays and I walked into my house in Plett and I was so relieved because nobody had moved my stuff around and even though people had stayed there and we'd lent it to friends where this basket is on that book is home to me it's just this atmosphere that I like to create around myself this nest and it's probably from you know having to figure life out um, for myself from the age of 11 um, so that is just precious to me to just be in this atmosphere of what I have made and created for myself Thanks for watching. For more homeworthy content, be sure to like and subscribe.